Hey cuties, Peachy here. Welcome back to a new video and it's been a hot second, but we're gonna talk about new Nanana Surprise leaks. So let's First get into up, it. First up, we have more leaks of the new Nanana Surprise Teens Series 3 girls. So we already saw the packaging in the previous video. We saw the artwork of all four girls and we already talked about how the packaging has reversed to the old style packaging where it's like a surprise so we no longer get to see the dolls again i don't know why they made that choice but here first up we have the koi fish character we actually get to see her in a box as you would have uh, as you would see her when you open up the box um so the surprises are on the right there's a few bags and that's where you will see her outfit and then she's on the left and she's just in her Gar undergarments <laughs> that there's nothing else to it really um those of you who have purchased the teens before um it's the same thing here it's just the do the doll and then the surprise bags now the actual doll looks cute uh her hair is messy like you know i'm not gonna sugarcoat it it looks a little messy <laughs> but um it's okay i feel like once you get her out and you fix your hair fix her hair and that outfit's probably gonna look really good it should look good um so yeah, I feel like she's cute. I like the hair color, the mixture, and the undergarments as always. Uh, the ones that are printed on are always such a cute detail to look at. And it's just, yeah, really cute. Um, I feel like I do prefer the when you were able to see the, the dolls in the window when, when it was like a clear window uh not only because you actually got to see the doll but also because they were already fully dressed you know they were fully dressed and the hair looked nice better than in the surprise box uh i know because i got series one of the tweens uh teens <laughs> and their hair was a mess uh and the way it was uh put in the box with the window boxes looked way better so I'm, I, I feel like I do prefer the, the window boxes. They just look better. But um, here she is. And she looks Next cute. up, we have a picture of the crab character. And she's fully in red. I think it's cool that she has like full on red tights. <laughs> That's awesome. And then her like, uh, she has like a, like a, like a, I don't know what to call it. It looks like a, like a sailor's uniform, almost like as a top, but it's very cropped. <laughs> It looks very interesting. I see the inspiration here, uh, the different vibes. Uh, I love her eyes. Her eyes have a different shape. Her bangs are not as messy as uh, the, the the bangs of the doll before with the koi fish theme. Um, her hair is just very red. I wish they would have given her more like highlights or whatever. Um, but overall, she's just really red. <laughs> she's she's cute, but like she's just she's very red. But her hair, at least doesn't look as messed up because it's very straight um and it's just yeah hopefully there's no product there's no product in these dolls hair because um uh, that would make it next even up worse. we have the swan character with the split black and white hair um her undergarments really stick out they're super cute super elegant and of course the tights form um, the tights that we've seen in the artwork where they have the music notes and it looks really good with the dress on so can't wait to see her with the actual dress on because the dress that the outfits for all these girls look really good so definitely holding uh pausing my final opinions for when i actually see them in their full outfits because they will definitely heighten uh, heighten up the looks for each of them but um the hair the hair bun it's messy it's not good <laughs> it's not good um she's still cute they're all cute uh i do think the eye shape of the red character the crab character just looks more captivating it looks more unique just because we've never seen it before and i do i i really do hope and wish that we get more different eye shapes with an Ananas Surprise because um, it's getting a little boring. <laughs> but I'm happy to see that they do have some differences here in this series. And yeah, overall, uh, this Swan character does also have a tanner skin complexion. And uh, the only doll that we don't get, don't get a leak of as of right now, we don't have one as of right now, is the Peacock character. 
who has the newest and deepest skin tone um and she is gonna look stunning i just know it i know it i just know it she's gonna look so good so i cannot wait to see her uh leak her doll and just like the full-on pictures for stock photos for all of these characters uh i don't know if it's gonna get me back into not on a surprise i'm gonna be honest because i stopped collecting not on a surprise uh the normal dolls the, the small ones and the teens i only have series one and i have uh the, the the bunny the pink bunny i like alexa she came with the i have the two teen dolls that were exclusive at one point with the big pom-pom that were super expensive i have those and series one of teens i and then i stopped collecting because a series two teens never really showed up where i live and just i, I wasn't really wowed and at that point i also stopped collecting the normal sized no no not surprise dolls so yeah i'm interested to see i'm interested to see if this new series will reel me back in with their full moving looks. on the glam series 2 no no not surprise dolls have been out for a while to my knowledge in stores um and they have been sold with this packaging you see on screen right now where it's you can see the full-on doll and the pom-pom displayed and i believe there's not even any plastic covering the doll it's just full-on cardboard because uh, mj is getting more aware of the plastic waste so they're cutting down on that with new packaging models and designs uh but again going back to my <laughs> uh point back in uh with the teens uh, reverting to their original packaging i'm confused again if mj is getting more aware of the plastic waste why would they revert to the old plastic design packaging where it's more plastic waste when they were going in such a good direction with using the new design where it's like clear and you see everything and some of the dolls even just use cardboard and no plastic at all so uh again questioning that decision <laughs> but um so these glam series two dolls have been already in on shelves people have been buying them they look cute um and so what's interesting here is that apparently they're getting re-released but now again in the in the in the original packaging form where it's all plastic and it's like a surprise aspect to it um i don't know what i don't know who is making these decisions at mj corporate who is the boss in this no 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 surprise division part of the brand like i just i need a, i need answers because what is happening here why would they <laughs> especially because they've been, they've been out they've been out for a hot second you know it's not like they're new they've they've been out and now they're releasing them in an old packaging module where it's all plastic and more waste and the surprise factor which also a lot of people don't really care for so like what's ha why what's happening why is this happening who's in charge let me speak to them i have some opinions <laughs> and i'm sure a lot of people share my same same opinions because it makes no sense it makes no sense lo logistically contextually and just it makes no sense like reasonable sense like so this confuses me it's bizarre but okay fine speaking <laughs> of it seems the new sweetest gems line series one is also gonna share that new uh update where they are also gonna get sold in the original packaging with the full-on plastic capsule and surprise aspect to it so we have our first look at the packaging here for the new sweetest gems line which is inspired by real life gemstones um and we already talked about that in the last no no surprise video or like two videos ago where i talked about like what's to, what's to come out this year for no no surprise um i believe there's supposed to be a series two for this line as well so that's exciting and so here's the packaging it looks cute we see three characters and a little sticker and so everything's the same in that aspect starting off we have the diamond character here uh she's in full white mostly although her hair maybe does have some highlights and some different uh you know uh strands of color in her hair to make it more you know diverse dynamic um she has some curly hair she has the original face printing and her hair like just a, lo a lot of white uh and uh, her dress is cute it's it, she's she's a, she has a really cute dress on it's very simple but overall um yeah really cute i think overall the theme that the thing with me for this series is with all of these dolls is that i wish each of them would have come with like their respective gemstone like in the middle of their dress or maybe it could have been attached to the hat or something i just i really feel like 
something like that to make him like really iconic and recognizable would have been much better because like with Barbie they've released a uh, gem like you know assorted dolls and lines and with them they always came with like their respective gem like around their neck it was like a necklace it was part of the necklace or it was like it was like a real part of a gemstone and not too expensive it was a really small chunk but like still and even if it was fake <laughs> you know just something to really like catch your eye and to really say oh wow you know it's a gemstone inspired line but because they don't have that not even any accessories um they're just wearing dresses and that's fine but not even the dresses are really inspired by the gemstones like it's just white here and i wish they would have given them each their own gemstone incorporated in their outfit or as an accessory somewhere maybe they could have each come with like an individual unique brush that had the gemstone molded into the brush or something you know like something like that that makes it really like oh collectible like oh i need all of them because they all have their unique gemstones or something but because they don't it just makes them look more ordinary if that if you, you know what i mean it just i feel like it would have make them made them look more unique and stand may, let them stand Next out up more we have <laughs> amethyst i believe there's another one in the series where it's also purple and i believe that one's alexandre or i don't know who named that gemstone i don't know why it's so long <laughs> but i think this is amethyst because amethyst is a darker shade of purple in the gemstone world i'm not a professionalist as you can probably tell <laughs> um yeah her, her wavy hair her makeup's really nice i like her makeup her dress is cute giving me you know schoolgirl vibes um and uh yeah but see like the overall thing is like i wish even all of them having the same hat with the cat ears why didn't they give them each like their own animal animal theme as well like or just different hats <laughs> no but no they're all wearing the same cat hat you know the cat ears um and i just i that this is where again I, I feel like having some kind of accessory that that's respective to their gemstone each would really help them out to stand out to make it more eye-catching more captivating and more interesting because it's really just so bland it's just like one tone i just i don't know especially because the theme is gemstone you know it's a gemstone sweetest gems and spice it's like a it's the whole thing I would expect to be to for there to be more emphasis and I get that they have to print it on bracelets you know and and that that's supposed to represent their gemstone but that doesn't count it's printed on okay I mean like a real like a real like plastic necklace or at least like like again molded onto the brush I feel like they would have just helped out so much to make him look more interesting and really sell the aspect of oh yes gemstone I got you and you know to also um inform people about the different gemstones especially kids because kids are going to love these dolls so to to be able to show them oh this is this is this one and this is that one uh with the different shaping and uh, and you know the, the shading and the colors and and that's why i'm saying having a real gemstone uh, even not real but like you know like plastic but still like at least something to to be able to show like this is that one that one's this one and it just i feel like that would have been more interesting more next up interesting. we have emerald and i think she's probably one of the prettiest ones in this line just because her look is really interesting she has the pigtails her dress is really uh fluffy it does have a gradient of a darker green to a lighter green and obviously we just have we just got uh jewel richie from rainbow high and they do share the same tone kind of um the thing that throws me off with her is her shoes her shoes are a much like bolder green than any everything else in her outfit which is more of like an emerald green so that's the only thing i will say like okay doesn't match but okay not everything has to match i get that that's fine <laughs> uh she's cute yeah it's cute again i just i keep going back but i feel like a gemstone somewhere anything would have made it much more interesting <laughs> we have aquamarine she's a really, really nice and blue her makeup's a little much for me uh and then Honestly, everything is a little <laughs> Her outfit is very, very like extravagant just because she has these like added like coattails at the at the back of her dress or something. Um really yeah, I mean it's just a lot of going on with her. And uh she has curly hair as well, so it makes it look like she's a bigger doll because she's just she has so much width to her hair and then her dress is very poofy. Well just you know, like that coattail thing is that stick stick out and then her 
her makeup's very heavy as well um she's cute like you know but uh, also she has gloves i feel like there's too much going on i feel like they needed to stick to one thing and made that work um yeah and i realize now that those things are actually coming out of the sides of her dress not the back of her dress and i do appreciate that she at least has uh, those glued on uh, rhinestones on the front of her dress. Like that's what I'm talking about. More, give me more that. Give me more rhinestones anywhere. Like if they each had like a rhinestone on their cheek or something, see, even just that would have made them each much more cuter, you know? Next up, Garnet. Uh, she's a really bright red, really like her outfit. Again, at least her dress here has some glued on rhinestones. I appreciate that. And her bow actually has like a gemstone in the center. See, that's what I'm talking about. I wanted this, but for each doll, incorporate it into her outfit. Somewhere. Last up, we have Alexandrite, the um, like lavender shade of uh, purple, I guess here with her gemstone um although the two purples in the series do look very identical almost so like i do wish they had played uh, they had made them more distinguishable um but she's cute she uh again she has straight hair um she i her dress is really cute her dress has like roses like uh on the dress and that dress is really interesting it, it, her dress is interesting to me i really like that the theme with the roses um and uh, it almost looks like origami or something. So I really like that. And th that's basically the only thing I have to say. <laughs> it's the, the dress, the theme, the roses. I like Now, that. hang on. <laughs> Is Nana Nana Surprise and Rainbow High in the same universe? Because these shoes look almost identical. The design looks almost identical. It's basically identical, even in the same shade of silver. Uh, so that's crazy. <laughs> and that's not the first time that we've seen uh, designs uh, in in Nana Nana Surprise that have already appeared in Rainbow High. I, I do like that MJ kind of always references their own designs in different uh, doll lines. <laughs> so that's really cute. And thanks to at Izzy Dawn Dolls on Instagram for pointing this out. <laughs> but yeah, that was the video. I hope y'all enjoyed. Be sure to give me a big thumbs up if you did. Be sure to leave me any thoughts or questions you may have down below. Let me know what you thought of this video of these leaks. Uh, the sweetest gems, who's your favorite? And you also agreed that uh, there should have been a little more emphasis on the gems part in somewhere on their design. <laughs> Let me know down below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell if you haven't already so you don't miss out when I post more. No, 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 surprise, doll news like this and just a bunch more content coming your way almost, no, pretty much daily. <laughs> Stay safe, be kind. I hope this next time. Stay peachy. Kisses.